Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the GM48. The GM48 is a quarterly game jam that challenges game developers to use Game Maker to make a game in 48 hours, similar rules to Ludum Dare. Um, this one's theme was One Life or One Health, maybe? It was One Health, I just double checked. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to be dying a lot. I'm playing them for about a minute each, 10 per video, so you can check them out further. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on Game Girls Fireside, so check that out later. And if you want to check me out, all my info is in the description. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing Chef Supreme. You are the world-renowned TV personality in the Chef Supreme Harvey Ives on set for another episode of your critically acclaimed morning TV show, The One Show, presented in the morning with Harvey IV. Unfortunately, however, due to a recent scandal that has enveloped you in the tra tabloid press and elsewhere, this morning show has been less than well-received. Dodge food thrown at you by live TV audience and roll up your sleeves to create the perfect three-meal course. Your three signature dishes, Gordon Ramsay is today's special guest, impress him, and you are sure to win back your place amongst the world's greatest TV chefs. Fail, and you are sure to die, granted that you are a cat, of course. You are lucky to find yourself with nine lives and the finest chef's overalls money can buy. This sounds hilarious, and I love Gordon Ramsay, and I'm also a cat. Okay. Um, current objective, grab ingredients. Where are these ingredients? The fridge? Oh, the fridge is over there. All of a sudden, there were carrots coming through. I was confused. E. Alright, I have ingredients. Wait for the carrots to go away. I got hit. What do I need to do after I grab someone? Alright, I need to grab more, maybe? There's a lot happening. I grabbed the ingredients. I hit E, didn't I? I really, really want to enjoy this game, but I don't know what I need to do. Uh, I'm not doing very well. Can we completely restart? Is that possible? Can I just get hit one more? Well, I have nine lives. That's a lot of lives to have. I was kind of hoping I could restart, but maybe not. No, oh, no, I don't know what to do. Oh, I got hit by donuts. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, is that something I need to grab? That's a power up. What does it do? Up, 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 over. Up, up, over. Oh. I don't know. It seems like an interesting concept. I just wish I understood a bit more as to what to do. I've tried to grab ingredients and it's just not working. Darn. Next. We're playing Wizard and Hydra. Oh, no. Okay. This is no good. I'm gonna die. My head's stuck in a box. Aw, oh, no. Death. So, you are a wizard. Blocks are disappearing. I wish there was more of a warning before blocks disappear. But I feel like I might get the feel of things. Hopefully, after a bit. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Aw, oh, death. So we're gonna kill all the heads of this, like, dragon demon creature. Ah. <laughs> It was a very, very simple game. It's a very good start because it's quite a cool idea. I wish the blocks blinked a bit before they went away. Um, and maybe the Hydra moved around. But the core concepts, all right. Yeah. Goodbye, heads. Nope, I did the wrong thing. Next. We're playing rotating squares of strength. I selected level one. Okay, controller supported. That's good to know. I'm not using my controller at the minute. Ah, oh, you can kind of dash, but uh, it's limited. All right, all right. No, okay. Need to do this faster. Mm -mm. Nope. So far. Not very good. I feel like if we wait here, wait until like the second it passes. Oh, we made it just barely. No, how do I even do this? 
Was this just a bit of like really good timing? Is there bits that it doesn't hit? No, it does hit because of the circle. The second. All right, what is left mouse button to A button? What is less left mouse button? What are you talking about? Oh, is this like. This is just like the. This thing. I was using space to do that. Goodness, I like the look of this game. It's not just like flat um, shapes. They look quite interesting and the background's colorful and nice. I'm not very good at it though. Next. We're playing this game whose title isn't in English, so I'm guessing this is a translation, Mr. Kaninji's Final Exam. Yeah, probably. I mean, that sounds about right. Difficulty. I don't know. I feel like sloth is about where I'm at today. Okay. This is your final exam. Okay. Type words as- Oh, I love typing games. When you make a mistake, I pull the trigger. When you run out of time, I pull the trigger. Thank you very much. I love typing games. And I love purple. Oh. What's going on? I didn't read whatever happened. Your luck is running out. We switch pirate now. This isn't luck. Oh. I was going to say this was skill and then I died. I got a bit cocky. Does that happen to a lot of people? That was really cool. I love typing games. That one really felt intense as well. Next. We're playing away from my heart. Alright, protect your heart at all costs. Enemy bad. Laser's bad. Don't let it bleed. Don't let bleed out timer hit zero. Hold heart to build up bleed out timer. Alright, so space. Oh, this is a bit weird. WSD space and J. Alright. What if I just carry around my heart? Oh, because I kind of. Do I need it to go? Oh, I don't think I can attack. Ugh, no, they touched it. Right, can, can I not attack when I'm holding my heart? Is that what stops me? Yeah, I can't attack. Nope. They, they come very quickly, and then they're just everywhere. No robots. I very much like the robot graphics, and just generally all of the graphics. They're really cool. It's a very difficult game. Next. We're playing Half Heart Hero. I like these graphics. It's like hand drawn look. Oh, we kind of rewound time. Alright, let's see. This is quite interesting. I don't understand all these books everywhere. It's like strange podiums with books on them. As part of the environment, all right, whatever. What's this? So we can still rewind time. Are you a bad character? Do I need to jump on your head? Yes, I do. Okay. That time I didn't do well. This rewind mechanic is very nicely implemented. It's also very needed. I like using it instead of restarting Ooh, my game. I don't know how I did it the first time. It must have been just right. Ah, how do I not die from you, though? Is there only three of you? No, okay. This is a very interesting game. Yeah, I thought you guys were going to come closer so I could jump on all your heads. Well, death. Huh, next. We're playing lovers. Oh, we're really cute looking. Alright, so I hit Z, there will be no happy end for romantic fools. And that sort of tosses our heart around. 
Oh, but she got hurt. Okay. What took me years to put up? Huh. And then they're attracted to me, but so is, like, this character. So we have to sort of guide each other. Oh. Love doesn't live here anymore. This is a very challenging game. Ooh, it just hit the wall. Gone are the times that even you were mine. Why aren't you coming towards me? Why are you going towards bad things? What happens if I hold on to the heart? Even though you're calling out for it. This is so weird. Oh, it hit the wall. I don't know how I'm supposed to kill people. <laughs> Alright, so I guess the idea is the lover who does not have the heart is like, sp oh, I can die from them though, is spewing and trying to kill ooh, the monsters. So this is my fault. I'm just like throwing it. I'm getting a little too excited. Um, and this invisible thing is just because I'm using keyboard. I don't know how to lead the bad enemies to my lover. Yeah, kill them. Kill them. Come on, girl, you got this. Okay, maybe if I just... Here, have the heart. Quick. There you go. Yeah! Save your voice another day. Select one bad thing so we have to pick a bad thing. This is a really nice concept. I've never played a game like that. Next. We're playing Jam. Hi, this is a Guitar Hero-esque game. With five keys. Welcome, you're about to learn how to make some sick music. Okay. Catch this, if you miss it, you're dead. Okay. Catches, the catches if you miss, you're dead. Okay, ready? I mean, uh, yeah. Here comes your first note. When the note reaches the target, press the key. Awesome. Nice, sounding pretty sick already. Thank you. Okay, let's try a simple melody. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, I did the wrong one. Game over. Ah, I already died. I didn't think I was going to die that fast. Ah, I wish I could skip this intro bit again. I like how colorful the game looks. It's very simple uh, with its lines and with the way like the circles are and everything. And then it throws in this colorful background with shapes going across it. It's very, very nice. Music is also great, which is... You know, a big plus when you have a musical rhythm game. There's some really good games in this jam. Okay. That was pretty good. That was pretty far, but not as lit as it could be. Let's try more advanced melody. Cool. Next. We're playing Trench Raid. You are Larry McHarrison, a brave soldier. And you had the grand idea of invading the enemy's trench. Unfortunately, you underestimated the height of the jump, and now even the slightest hit will finish you off. Meanwhile, boss, your trench is being invaded. I'm sending reinforcements. Alright, so arrow keys to move, Z to shoot, X to kick, shift to pick up. Remember to use cover. Oh, this is cool. The graphics again are really nice. This is cover. I can take cover with me, really. Let's just shoot a whole lot more. I'll pick up your gun, because it's mine now. Yeah, how about you don't throw bombs at me because I don't like it. But 
nearby. I like the little story at the start with its pixel graphics. And then these ones just matched in cuteness. Oh. I don't like bombs. You don't like bombs here. This looks like it. Oh, there we go. Flag. So it looks like some sort of um, lever. Oh, you have a shotgun. I hate shotguns. I have an attempted metal, though. Cool. Next. We're playing Dungeon Diver. This game was a... What's it called? A source file that I then put into Game Maker. It didn't work. Um, okay. That I then put into Game Maker, and I hit play. Assuming that would uh, make it work, but it didn't seem to quite work for me. Because this is all that comes up. Going to the next room seems like what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. So yeah, um, it looks like the only other person that played it also commented that it wasn't a runnable EXE and that it has this weird noise. Um, I don't know if they could get farther or not. I mean, you've got a nice enough start. I like the animation on this falling character. You can fire stuff. There's another, um, well, a couple more spells, I guess you could say, that you can collect, like um, a little sword and a shield protection thingy. So, good idea. Next.